Let's try one complex geometrical application of this form of straight line. Consider this example. The centroid of an equilateral triangle is 0, 0. If two vertices of the triangle lie on x plus y is equal to 2 root 2, then find the vertices of the triangle. We have here equilateral triangle. One of the sides of the triangle is uh, given. It is better if I start with uh, uh, putting this data on coordinate axis. So, here we have coordinate axis. Let us draw the line x plus y minus 2 root 2 is equal to 0. The slope of this line is minus 1. So, we put it this way. Obviously, the angle of this line with uh, positive direction of x axis is 135 degree. Two vertices of the triangle lie on this straight line. Now, origin is centroid. So, here we have centroid which is origin. That means, one median is perpendicular to this given line. So, we draw a line perpendicular to this given line through origin which is a median of this equilateral triangle. The equation of this line is y is equal to x because slope is 1. That means, this line makes an angle 45 degree with x axis. Obviously, one vertex of the triangle lies on this median. So, we have uh, this equilateral triangle A, B, C where B and C are lying on the given straight line. We have to find the coordinates of uh, A, B and C. Let us start with uh, vertex A. Can we find the distance uh, A, O? We can find distance O, D. What is that? It is a distance of uh, O from side BC. So, we have this distance is equal to 0 plus 0 minus uh, 2 root 2 upon square root of 1 square plus 1 square and this is equal to 2. We know how to find the distance of a point from the line. That means, uh, now we can find distance A O. How we can find? Use the concepts of median and centroid. Here O is centroid, that means O will divide A D in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, distance A O is equal to 4. Now, we can find the coordinates of vertex A which are given by 0 minus 4 cos 45 comma 0 minus 4 sin 45. So, this are minus 4 upon root 2 comma minus 4 upon root 2. Now, B and C. B and C are lying on a line which makes an angle 135 degree with x axis. Using uh, some geometry, we can find distance BD and CD. So, if we can find the coordinates of uh, point D, so using parametric form of straight line, we can find coordinates of points B and C. Now, coordinates of uh, point D, these are given by 0 plus 2 cos 45 comma 0 plus 2 sin 45. So, these are equal to root 2 comma root 2. Now, distance C D. For that, join O and C. So, we have triangle O C D. In this triangle, angle O C D is 30 degree. Because we have equilateral triangle, uh, O is uh, centroid. That means, O C is angle bisector of this triangle. That means, 
एंगल ओ सी डी इज थर्टी डिग्री सो इन ट्राइंगल ओ डी सी वी हैव सी डी इज इक्वल टू ओ डी मल्टीप्लाई बाय कॉट थर्टी डिग्री so we have distance cd is equal to 2 root 3 that means vertices b and c are lying at distance 2 root 3 from point d on this given straight line that means coordinates of point c are root 2 minus 2 root 3 cos 135 degree comma root 2 minus 2 root 3 sin 135 degree and this are equal to root 2 plus root 6 comma root 2 minus root 6 and uh, coordinates of vertex b are given by root 2 plus 2 root 3 cos 135 comma root 2 plus 2 root 3 sin 135 so this are equal to root 2 minus root 6 comma root 2 plus root 